Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly create a new filter to help find emails in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. You can use a filter in Gmail to help find an email or narrow down a search. Filters are also the way you can set up automatic rules in Gmail based on specific criteria that you define. The start point to create a filter is the search bar at the top of the inbox. Moving to the right of the search bar, you'll see an icon behind which are hidden more search options. Let's click on that. A new panel is then opened that asks you to enter your filter criteria. This is the basis on which you want to narrow down your search. Gmail offers a number of ways to do this. You can, for example, ask Gmail to only show emails that have been received from a specific email address. Or similarly, only show emails that you have sent to a particular email address. You can also search based on the subject header or title of an email. If you can't remember all of the subject, you can search for emails that contain specific words. If you remember more than one word, you can add multiple keywords just by adding a comma at the end of your first word and then typing any additional words. One other useful feature is that you can search for emails based on a date range simply by selecting the rough date when you think an email may have been received and then choosing the date range to search within, whether that's a day, a week, a month or a year. For this example, I'm going to create a filter to show only those emails I've sent to my friend Teddy. I'll add their email address into the to row. And to create that filter, all I need to do is click on the Create Filter link at the bottom of the page. A new window is then shown. This page asks what you want to do with all the emails that match the filter search criteria you've just used. I want to label all the emails from my friend with their name. So to do that, I'll move my mouse to the Apply the Label option and click on the checkbox next to it to select it. I now need to choose the label to add by clicking on the drop down arrow next to that option on this row. This displays all your existing labels. You can choose one of those, but I want to create a new label however. So to do that, I'll choose the new label option near the top of the list. A pop-up box then appears that asks me to confirm the new label name. I'll quickly enter that, and once I'm happy with it, I'll click on the large blue Create button to confirm that. Gmail confirms that the new label has been created, and you'll see at the bottom of this window that Gmail has also found 27 email conversations that I have sent to my friend. I'm also going to select this checkbox next to that row to indicate that I want to add my new label to those conversations as well. To apply that filter, all I now need to do is click on the large blue Create Filter button. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.